Hey guys, today I'll be telling you the story of how my friend completely ate it while longboarding. However, first I have to tell you this video was sponsored by Nobody Suck It Mobile Game that I'm not gonna name. Enjoy the video. Alright, so this story takes place about a few months ago. Okay, now that that's out of the way. So, what happened? It was me, my friend, I'm gonna call him Zach. Alright, so me and Zach, we went longboarding because we were both sick and tired of this quarantine, want to take our minds off it. So, we went out, met up at this local store near where I lived where all the hills in our city was. So we went down a few hills. This guy came along also and uh, offered us 20 bucks each to help him uh, move his fridge. That's a story for another day though. Maybe I'll spice it up. But for this, uh, so what happened? We went down this hill. However, there was another hill and uh, basically what happened was we were going down it and I said turn here however he just didn't hear me kept going and he said later that he got sketched out by our cars so here I'll, I'll just say what happened so I turn and uh, once like we slow down a lot I turn around and say see wasn't that hard and then he said he's not there though so I t when I turn around since I heard him not say anything. And he's not there. So I call him. And uh, he uh, just saw like, what do you want? Just ask him, hey, where are you? And he says he's at the bottom of the hill. Now this is a big hill here. I'll put it up on the Google Map. I'll pull up on Google Maps, take a screenshot and show you. That's the hill. It's pretty big. So he had ended up accidentally jumping a curb with his longboard going like 20 miles an hour and he slammed head first into this brick wall now I come down, uh, down there and he like there's a bit of blood you can see a dent and he's ever surprisingly he only has a small scar on his forehead and his nose is bleeding a bit that's it no broken teeth nothing I don't know how this kid did it Maybe life's a simulation or something. I don't know. Elon Musk is pretty smart, and that's what he thinks. But anyway, so after that, I kind of just sat around waiting for him to feel like getting up again. So we got up, and I just said, "Hey, there's this uh, store that sells uh, like smoothies." So uh, I say, "Hey, we should go there. Maybe you could put it against your forehead, and make you feel better." So we go there. But then he decides to go home. Yeah, I, it ends there. I told my friend about this. He laughed. And don't worry, I asked my friend if I could tell him this video. You know who you are. And he said it's alright as long as I just changed the name and stuff. Yeah, I know what, this story was really short and boring. I don't know, maybe the Skate 3, the gameplay will make it better. But, I don't know, with these coronavirus, but, not even I am more. I was, not with all these protests and stuff, it, I, I don't know. Maybe something will happen, I'll get to tell it on here. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the small bit, just want to make sure you guys don't dip in the middle of the night, you know. So, uh, have a good day. I guess. Getting topped off, trying to get my rocks off. Tripping quite a bit, struggling to get my socks off. Skeet, now my cock's off. Now it's time to go home. Not a fucking home, so I roam like my mind does. This a fine buzz, but frankly, it is not enough. Find my local pizza hut and shoot it up to get a kick. Next cop to stop me, better give me sloppy toppy. But if he doesn't, blow kisses at his fucking cousin. At his funeral, pull up looking beautiful. Another 
piggy dead should've stayed up in that cubicle Getting topped off, trying to get my socks off But Mariah Carey sell my soul for some pop locks Pop lock, drop, stop and roll like my eyes do When the record label call me up, I can't we sign you?